Hi, uh, this is Cindy Daly, the College of Agriculture. And I'm Betsy Boyd. Molly Ashermitter. And we're here to finish up our report out uh, number two for the course redesign on Plant and Soil Science 390. And we are still in the initial stages of our redesign. Yeah, so this is uh, for, uh, food, food Forever. It's food Forever. And um, it's a course that's designed to bring in uh, world views on um, uh, food production and, and um, agricultural production. Absolutely. We're going to be addressing issues related to sustainable food production on a global as well as a national um, scale. Yeah, so this report out video is uh, to answer a few more questions along the way. And one of our first questions is, how will the uh, Rubric for Online Instruction, or R ROI, and UDL help us to redesign our course? And what we're going to be using is, with the ROI, it provides a, a very nice framework for us to develop an excellent online course. A couple of examples of what we're going to be doing using that rubric is um, cleaning up the course. Um, we are going to make our VISTA uh, course pages have some consistency, be very clear, tighten them up, um, allow them to be consistent across each individual mm. page for the student, and make it a little bit easier um, through some redundancies and links by allowing them not to have to search all over the course to find where they need to go. Second thing is making an accessible syllabus and, and, um, and adding that to our course as well. Um, as far as the UDL goes, we will be approaching different modalities of learners by using uh, voiceover uh, PowerPoints, um, either using Camtasia or some type of Wimba, we're not sure on what technology we're going to be using there, but doing voiceover PowerPoints online uh, with subcaptions. So we're approaching um, those that maybe have disabilities or those that also um, maybe have language as a barrier and help them to um, reinforce concepts by not only seeing and then hearing and um, also being able to associate those with um, particular images that we have in the PowerPoint. Right on. So um, we have a couple more questions. The first one is the opinion of our um, open textbooks. So as we stop to look at the content, the next question becomes, what will we do for our textbook? And as we've considered the option for an open textbook, and I think at this point we kind of agree that um, this course is unique in that it really does pull from several different content areas. So a particular textbook is would be very difficult to find to start with but in addition we really feel like we can offer the students a, a better learning environment by pulling some of those resources together ourselves so at this point we're really considering developing our content material ourselves so we wouldn't necessarily need to use a textbook and thus we wouldn't need really consider an online textbook but as we consider that in the future that open textbook might be something to consider for other courses. Sure down the road it might be and I think yeah Molly's right on it uh, we, we just don't find enough of all that pertinent mm -hmm. material in any one location so we're going to be drawing upon multiple resources in order mm -hmm. to um, be as inclusive as possible on content with this particular course redesign. That's the other aspect of the redesign that I'm excited about. It's really embellishing the content in this particular course as well as uh, increase the uh, navigation ability of the online course. So as Betsy was talking about, that's going to be a critical part of this uh, redesign process. Hey, my question is how are we going to um, use new strategies to engage students in the course. And that's what I think this uh, uh, e-learning exercise has been very helpful for me, is to learn about new ways to engage students in the classroom. And uh, I really liked the way Asa uh, introduced himself at the uh, onset of his course, so we will be developing an instructor video as an introduction to Plant and Soil Science 390, and it's going to really address the, the three of us in terms of who we are and, and how we come at um, the educational process, and uh, provide them with a walking tour of the university farm so that they understand what kind of resources they have available to them throughout this course, not only as instructors, but also from a physical space perspective, uh, the university farm is, is also their learning laboratory. So the walking tour will help them understand what's available, and it will also tie in with the extra credit. We're going to tell them that they can do time at the university farm for extra credit, so uh, it'll be a great way to uh, expose kids to, to ag and to the kinds of things that we're already doing out at the university farm. Um, as Betsy was talking about the uh, Camtasia, we will be doing voiceover PowerPoints and each, each unit, I'm giving away the module, 
each unit will be a uh, standalone um, segment of, that will be you know concentrated on a particular topic and the voiceover PowerPoint will also have subtitles to help us with the UDL compliance and uh, it will also help us frame the the unit itself as a guided tour through the unit so there'll be embedded um, links to the reading resources there'll be embedded links to videos as well as course content then that the students will also be quizzed on um, throughout that um, unit. So as they progress through the PowerPoint, they'll be progressing through the unit. So that's uh, kind of a neat way to keep them engaged. And um, we also are going to make sure that this is a hybrid course. So the, my colleagues and I would like to create uh, a discussion section so that the students' activities while they're in the classroom is going to be basically a, an active engagement in in a discussion on a particular case study related to sustainable food systems. And they'll be developing their report papers um, over Google Docs um, because it is another, um, I think, a really neat tool that can add a lot of, um, I don't know, in intuitive, it'll add a lot to the, the class itself in terms of engaging students um, in this learning process. So what else, oh. guys? What else do we need to tell them? Well, I think, I think that sums time. it up. <laughs> We've got a time frame, so we'll see you next time. Bye.